Hello, this is Fiona, and well, today we're going to create a birdhouse. You're going to follow me while I create it. And what I just did was I print, I printed um, the birdhouse template on the side I want the birdhouse to be. The inside of the birdhouse. That's better. And this is the side for the outside of the birdhouse. So, yeah, you need a double-sided paper, and I this is 12 by 12, but I cut it into a paper measurement, which I don't know right now. I think it's 8 times 1 and 3, 4, something like that. But I just trace that and cut it like that. Okay? Um, so that's a trick, and I wanted to show you where I got the idea from. Well, I was just researching online on birdhouse templates, and I got into this page, which is Nicole Hetty. I don't know how you say that, NicoleHetty.Typepad.com, and I got this template of that birdhouse there. That's so cute, and I'll put the link over there. I think she is the, the person which made that template, and yeah, you she made a courting card. She put some colors you could use. The, the birdhouse, really pretty, the template, and some instructions in there. So that's so cute. Um, so thank you, and I'll put the link at the sidebar of the video, and let's get started. What I will start doing is cutting the pieces over with my scissors. So I'm going to get started. I think I will cut this part because it's going to be too much time because I will do it very detailed so it's perfect. So, I'll catch up later. Okay, so now I have all of this cut. Um, I had to cut every single detail, you know, all of these little tabs, everything. So now it's time to score, to fold and score and all those um, stuff. So I will start folding where the, the slash lines tell me to. Oh, well. It is going to turn out so cool. So now that I folded everything, I am going to follow the instructions that come on the template. I'll print this one out in a white paper, white copy paper. And it says, roof instructions, cut rectangle measuring 3 and 1 fourth times 6. So I'm going to do that. Cut out the paper as um, it told me to and fold it and square it as it did. And now we're going to start to paste this together, the birdhouse, okay? So I'm just going to get my dirty mat that I always use to, use to use glue on and messy things. Which I love this mat. I'm going to buy a new one. But well, because now it's too dirty that I used it a lot. I am going to just use it for dirty things. So yeah, I'm using this... Um, I don't know what it's called. It's a scotch glue with two way. And it's so cool. My dad bought it to me. Okay, so what I did to create my uh, birdhouse was super easy. The I got a piece of scratch paper from the left out left over up sorry of the the piece of pattern paper used in this box. This is the paper that is inside the box you're not seeing. So I decided to use combination so it looks really pretty, you know. So what I did was I, as I, as I already said, cut out everything out and folded each tab, each paper. You, I, I'm sure you saw that in their video. Then what I did is I cut out, out of the roof measuring three and one fourth times six and here you see some little tabs I use that I first um, put the box together and then adhere the roof on top of the box using using the tabs this tabs so it was really 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 easy and this is supposed to you get um, you're supposed to punch um, a circle, but I don't have any circle punch, but I will do one. And I will um, recreate this and make it look my style. So let's just cut it. So I just decided we're going to use a prima flower. And we're going to um, do Balma's technique, cover it with um, 
clear embossing powder and make it so shiny. And we're going to just put the bread in the middle when once it's covered with Velma's Technique and put it on the middle of that. But I'm not sure which flower to use because there's so much colors in this. I'm sure you have heard about Velma's Technique and maybe you have experience making it. If you haven't, gather all your materials including birthmark, clear embossing powder and your surface too to create Velma's technique. So the first step is just covering your object, which mine in this case is this Prima flower, with a birthmark ink pad. And this is the watermark stamp pad used for embossing. If you never heard of it before. And it's just like a glue which helps you um, emboss, basically. So I just um, cover that with birthmark. And now my, I'm gonna cover the flower and clear embossing powder. You might want to use a spoon for this, but I don't find mine right now. And I just wanted to do this fast. So, you get it out of the bottle and let's heat it. Now we'll have to do, um, repeat this step like three or four times depending on how it, the, the, the other ones we saw. So, flowers I think well most of them the ones that come into calypso tin this calypso thin, tin sorry come with a little hole inside to place the brads if you want to add brads or bling whatever but once you do them you want to try it with a pun uh, hole puncher but sometimes it doesn't work because of the thickness of the of the how do you call this of the flower um, embossing powder. So I'll just do it with an exacto knife and just put, put a hole in there. Let's see if it works. Do that and look at that flowers and that shiny. It's so cool. So I'm just gonna adhere that into the box. Let's get my um, I'm gonna use some 3D scotch tape. It's the real cool thing. I'm just gonna put that in the middle instead of adding the hole, but this is a big flower, so it will look different. So yeah, this is what we have um, done. Now I'm showing you. So what I did here, um, over here I got a ho this hole that torn. So basically I just um, got a piece of paper, white, white cardstock, and added two holes in there. Just gonna then paste that in here and it will look nicer, I think. But I'm just gonna distress this and I'll catch up later. So I'm ready, I've already distressed this with vintage photo, and I'm just gonna start now putting the ribbon in there because this house it was is stressing to do, but it's gonna turn out so beautiful. So now I will adhere this piece of little paper with the ribbon in there to the birdhouse finally good it is so stressed ink thing for me well I stressed a lot and I've been stressed watching how hard it was I thought it was going to be so easy because it turned out well just Decorating it, I thought that was that is gonna be so easy, but it isn't. So yeah, that's weird. So I'm done. I'm done. Finally, my birdhouse, which doesn't look like a birdhouse, but I really liked it. It looks like a flower house, baby. The ribbon up there, really pretty. And I'm not doing the tag too. Oh, whoops, too much work. And um, I think this looks pretty actually. Um, really cute decoration for a boom or something. Hope you like it. Bye!